Hello there, St. Peter's. It's Pastor Paul again, and uh, it is good to um, reach out to you. Uh, let me begin with just saying I, I miss you. I miss seeing you in person. I miss seeing you a lot, and I think it is safe to say on behalf of all of the leadership of St. Peter's and staff and elders and deacons um, that we all miss seeing you, and we all send uh, love. We all send prayers. Um, we all send virtual hugs as far and as wide as you will receive them. Uh, welcome to this living room. It's uh, my family's living room, and uh, this is our home. Many of you have been here uh, for church events, for play dates, for social gatherings of, of um, many a sort. Um, tonight it is cold outside, at least Southern California cold. Um, a fire is lit in our fireplace. Kids are bedding down um, with Devin upstairs with bedtime stories. Um, Devin and Maya and Miles um, also um, send their love and their prayers. They miss you. They miss our St. Peter's family. They miss seeing you in person and, and the warm greetings that you always extend to them. You know, it's day seven um, since we received that uh, emergency text last Thursday night alerting us that uh, the schools would be closed for um, at least three weeks. And like many of you, uh, we have been logging a heck of a lot of time together as a family. In fact, uh, at any given moment, if you were to pull one of us or several of us aside um, and ask us how it's going, um, we would probably tell you um, we're spending a bit too much time together. We um, certainly find ourselves uh, in the midst of a detour, a detour that we didn't plan for, a detour that we had not imagined, um, a detour that uh, we didn't ask for. And you know, it's in times like this when I think um, that we um, benefit greatly from kind of bathing ourselves in the things that um, deeply matter to us. And as people of faith, as people of Christian faith, I think one of those things that um, deeply matters to us is our, our scriptures. Uh, and one of my favorite scriptures, uh, one of my favorite books in the entire Bible is the Old Testament book of Jeremiah. And one of my favorite verses in the entire Bible is um, from the 29th chapter of Jeremiah, verse 11. Um, I think it's one of the most beautiful um, promise-filled scriptures in uh, the entire um, sacred text. Um, Jeremiah writes these words. He says, Surely I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, and plans for your welfare and not for your harm, and plans to um, give you a future filled with hope. I love these words. I love these. I've always loved these words. I think um, they are words um, that uh, kind of stand the test of time, and, and especially in moments like this, the moment that we find ourselves in, I think uh, these words um, are a great reassurance to us as people of faith, um, because they remind us that um, in God's way, in God's timing, um, a future filled with hope will unfold. And, and, and I love that word, unfold, because... Um, you know, I, I, I kind of feel like uh, we are living in the midst of days where it feels like everything's folding in um, around us. So I like uh, that promise that um, a future filled with hope will unfold. Um, we are all in need of that kind of hope. Um, but here is also the beautiful way, the lovely way that um, Scripture informs Scripture because um, verse 11 um, that I just shared with you. It can't be parsed out from the verses that immediately precede it, um, which call us um, to live um, faithfully in very ordinary ways. And why does this matter? Um, why does this matter? Well, I think it matters because uh, it reminds us that, that biblical hope, biblical hope does not turn our faces away from the present. That's important. Biblical hope does not turn our faces away from the present. Biblical hope um, allows us um, to, to return to today, to return to the present, believing that tomorrow is, is, safely, is safely and absolutely in the hands of God. You know, um, I don't know what um, 
is in store for us in the days ahead, like most of you. I am watching the news and, and waiting for the next press conference. And I, I wish I could tell you, um, you know, how this was going to all play out, but I can't. But two things I do believe with all my heart. And the first is I believe that tomorrow is safely and absolutely in the hands of God, that we are safely and absolutely in the hands of God. And secondly, um, I believe, I know that we will navigate our way through this together, that we will brave this wilderness, that we will navigate our way through this wilderness together. Those two things I know to be true. I also know and believe to be true that um, we have an amazing leadership at St. Peter's and the staff and the deacons and the elders, um, they are um, tirelessly working the angles um, and how we can best serve um, you and serve our community, how we can be best stay connected with you and um, best stay connected with our community and for those who need us. Um, sometimes, um, I think, and uh, dare I say we think, um, that purpose and joy and meaning um, comes from um, getting what we want in life, right? What we deserve in life. But the longer I live, the more of life I experience, um, the more I believe that um, oftentimes um, joy and meaning and purpose, um, kind of those aha moments that this is what I'm about, this is what we're about, um, those kind of assurances come from the detours. Um, they're discovered um, in the midst of the detours that we are dealt in life. Um, you know, the great enemy to um, joy is anxiety about the future. Um, and when anxiety kind of um, takes root in our hearts, when it takes a hold of us, when it consumes us, um, it leaves little room for joy. I am, am not suggesting in any way that um, you know, we shouldn't be real um, or honest um, about um, our feelings or our emotions. Um, you know, I am processing um, every day right along with the rest of you. But what I am suggesting um, is that we um, bathe ourselves in scripture, that we bathe ourselves um, right now in um, this promise I'm given to us by one of the great prophets of the ages, Jeremiah. Um, and so let me share that verse with you one more time. And um, may you uh, maybe close your eyes and maybe um, um, let these words wash over you um, and receive them as, as, as a promise to you. Jeremiah writes, For surely I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans um, for your welfare and not for your harm, um, plans to give you uh, a hope and a future. May God um, write Jeremiah's words of, of hope and promise on our hearts, on our hearts individually, on our hearts as a community of faith. I look forward um, to gathering with you gathering with all of you and anyone else who will um, join us this Sunday for online worship at 9.30 a.m. Um, until then, take care of yourself. God bless you all, and may God bless um, this world that God so deeply loves.